Hi, Hiram here. The other day I did a video on this Ollie Camp uh, convector windscreen that I got at my local Army Navy store. It's what I thought was a pretty cool aluminum screen made of an aluminum anodized blue coating on it. Uh, you can see, I don't know if you can, too much reflection. As you use it, the blue does seem to burn off. But anyway, uh, on this video, I got a comment from Hunt five four excuse me Hunt four five eight, where he said, "Be careful with this device." Someone on the internet who I'll call he who must not be named says that you could get a first degree burn from metal windscreens. I want to thank Hunt four five eight for his comment, and I just want to say to he who must not be named. Brilliant. I mean, I never would have guessed that putting fire inside a metal windscreen would make it hot enough to give me a first degree burn. Wow. Talk about understatements. But anyway, uh, I don't know. If you don't have, if you don't treat fire with respect, if you're not intelligent enough to know that if you heat up metal you could get burned from it, then I kind of think you should just stick the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on the trail. What I want to try to do today, well, it's a couple of things. Uh, I Asking around, it turned out what it is, is the guy selling carbon felt windscreens. Kind of like this. So I was, I started to wonder, besides the burning part, getting yourself a nice little burn. How do they relate to each other as far as heating times? I think the metal screen will heat up a little bit faster than carbon felt, but see if I can find that out today. A couple of things with this. This weighs, what was it, 105.2 grams. This carbon felt, which is cut about the same height and the same length, weighs 35.4 grams. So for the gram weenie types, this is like a third the weight of this. But if you look at it, it's three, it's two times bulkier, let's say. Maybe three times bulkier. I don't know. So before I change this into a pot stand slash windscreen, I was going to poke, punch some holes in here so I can elevate the pots using uh, wires. I thought maybe what I'd do is just a quick oil test to see what kind of times I get from this versus the carbon felt. I'm going to use a uh, burner that I got from Colorado Camper. It's a Super Cat burner. One of the easiest burners to make. It's just a cat food container that you punch holes in it with a paper punch. If you have to buy a can, it costs you under a dollar. Almost everybody has a paper punch. I'm going to set it up with this first. Now the one thing with these Super Cat stoves, they are a little finicky as far as putting a pot of cold water on it. Even now, in the summer, in the winter, in the winter it's really bad. So what I was playing with was using, again, carbon felt, a carbon felt insulator on the top of this to insulate the coldness of the pot from the burner. Okay, let's see if I can put this pot on without putting it out. Now I should have my gloves on so I don't get burned. Now as you're doing this, this is heating up the pot. There we go. And I've got that on there. Put the screen on. And let's see where this goes. Here we have 210, 211. Come on. 212 in 7 minutes 34 seconds. Okay. 
7 minutes 34 seconds. That was two cups of water. I forgot to look there. I think it was 60 degrees, about 60. I'll look back on the film and put it on the screen here. But two cups of water starting at 60, let's say, came to a boil in 4 minutes and 34 seconds. Now, let's do a little shot here. The screen is showing that it's 320 some degrees. So that is hot. When I'm out, I think you've seen these before, I wear gloves to protect my dainty little hands. Or I use my Leatherman, the pliers. Or I have another little tool that I like to use. This works pretty well on lifting up pots and doing other things. So let's just undo this. No burns. Boiling water. Now if I were to pick this up barehanded, and these aren't insulated gloves, they're just leather gloves. But I'm able to handle this stuff. Okay, the alcohol is just about ready to go out. I didn't measure how much alcohol was in there, but it was more than the fluid ounce. So what I'll do now is I'll let all this stuff come back to room temperature, and I'll redo the test using the carbon felt. So I'll be right back. Okay, now here we have part two of this test to use the uh, carbon felt windscreen. I filled up Colorado Camper's Super Cat stove again. Let me light it. Let this burn for a little bit to heat it up. Like I said, this time I'm going to use the carbon felt windscreen that I made. It's about the same size, height, and length around as the Ollie Camp, I keep forgetting, Ollie Camp Convector windscreen. Hey, let me just put this windscreen around. And let me try to put the pot down at 60 degrees right now. Okay, cool, that worked. And let's see where this goes. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 in 8 minutes 29 seconds. Okay, let's get a quick before these flames go out. I don't know, can you see that? Now before the flames are going down now, but before, right about here, the flames from the burner were hitting the inside of the carbon felt, and I was getting uh, 400 degrees plus coming through here. I think this flame is just about ready to go out, if it hasn't already. No, it's still hanging in there. But the whole, th the, so that, one, almost a minute more for this versus the other one. You know, and I so I'm sure there's going to be a lot going to say, what's a minute out in the woods? But still, that's a minute of, of fuel that you're using that you don't have to. So the idea is that I can just pick this up with my bare hands. Now this is warm, where the flames were touching it, but I don't have to use pliers or gloves or anything with this. Okay, but still. I don't know if I said before, I use gloves or tools. You know, the flames are still going there. Hmm. You know, you can use pot grippers like this. Anything to protect your hands. See, even this. These are just thin leather gloves, but I'm able to pick things up without burning myself. You don't need in big insulated gloves. Just don't hang on to it all day. 
Okay, this is just burning on fumes here. But see, even there I can pick that up. All right, so what's the results here? Using the Olicamp windscreen, windscreen, 7 minutes 34 seconds to get to a full boil. With the carbon felt, 8 minutes 29 seconds, both starting at about 60 degrees. So all you Graham Weenies, I'm sure you're going to love this stuff. I mean, I like this stuff. This is turning out to be very handy. As far as the windscreen, I'm not so sure. There's no support. Now this is new carbon felt, so it stands pretty pretty good on its own. I'm not sure what will happen after you've been crunching it around and using it for a while. The Ollie Camp has these little spikes here for you to stick into the ground, and I think it would take a heck of a lot of wind to blow this over. Probably put out your flames before it would knock it over. Okay, so there you go with that. Again, I thank Hunt458 for the comment. I thank he who must not be named for his overstatement that hot metal things can give you first degree burns. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.